Today we are going to be discussing voicing, and one thing you must know about voicing the piano is if your ham if if your piano needs hammer reshaping, then that is not for an amateur to do. It's only for a seasoned professional to do, who has done it many many times before and knows exactly what he's doing. Because if the wrong people get their cotton picking hands on your hammers, it can be disastrous. But let's not scare you. Let's talk about the good things. Now let's say you have bought a Chinese or Japanese piano and it's really bright in your home, then you should buy heavy wool carpets like we have here. We got these rugs um, at Costco a few years ago and we have them all over the house and they work amazingly. But let's say that you have all your carpets in and everything and your piano is still too bright. Then we go to the voicing tool which is this thing here, it has four very sharp needle-like points on it, and you take the hammer like this, and you just simply push the needles into the hammer, like that, and then you tip, pull it out, push them in, pull them out, push them in, pull them out, but mostly you're going to do it up there where it hits the um, string, just push it in probably maybe three times, four times, and then go on to the next hammer, and that's what, ha that's what you have to do, if your piano is too bright and you should mostly do that with Japanese and Chinese and Korean um, pianos of that type that are very bright that helps a lot and um, yeah but if your piano is kind of on the dark side like this Baldwin 6000 we have here it's not so dark anymore because we use this tool here but let's say that your piano is too dark you take this hammer iron thing, which we bought at Howard Industries, as well as this, that we have an amazing um, credit report or whatever with them. They're really good. We love them, and we don't have anything bad to say about them. We have all good things to say about them. So basically, you turn, you plug this into the wall, and it's automatically turned on. And this gets very hot, so don't touch it. Your finger will be fried. But <laughs> anyway, so what you have to do is you put a damp cloth, a thin damp cloth on top of the hammers and then you take the hammer iron and make sure that to keep the hammer iron moving when you place it on the hammer don't just put it on there and sit it there or, you, or the hammer might burn so you just set it on there and then move it back and forth probably two times put a set limit to it two times then move on to the next one next one next one next one just keep on doing that and then soon your piano will be brighter but don't go overkill and do it like and just like do it like this and move on to the next one because then your piano could be too bright and, and, and same goes with this one don't overkill, don't do too much of it without testing it first because then your piano would be too dull and you're like no, what did I do? so anyway, um, yeah, just like do it do a few of the notes that you want to test out and then test it if it's not, if, if it's too bright then use this but if it's too dull keep on going with it again so yeah and um... this hammer file thing here is good for um... filing the hammers to kind of reshape them once again it's best to have a professional do it but if you really know, think you know what you're doing then only use the um, softer, like not as grainy side of it, which is the smoother side of it. Don't use this rough side, that's more for pros to do than the um, amateurs to use that side. Because if you take off too much felt, your, your piano can be basically destroyed. Because when you hit the note, it doesn't hit, it doesn't strike the string as properly as it should, or it can be the wrong shape, it doesn't sound as good, or so forth. But if your piano needs a tiny adjustment, then you can probably use the um, finer side of this and it'll be good. So that's our little episode of how to voice a piano for the amateur or beginner um, um, technician. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave comments, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.